who I recently made a video where I said that SPAC arbitrage isn't an arbitrage at all. All right, you can check out that video if you follow this link here, which raises a question. Well, what is an arbitrage if SPAC arbitrage isn't? Well, a true arbitrage is where you're able to buy something in one market for a low price and sell it simultaneously in another market for a high price. This happens uh, simultaneously and needs for that to be the case in order to lock in those prices. If you're able to do that, you're essentially guaranteed to make a profit doing so. Uh, one thing you might be able to do is say, well, you know, there are some stocks that trade in multiple markets. So for example, uh, Toronto Dominion Bank trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange and it trades on the New York Stock Exchange. So we can see here <clears throat> that in Toronto, uh, it has a price of 81.82. In the U.S., has a price of 65.34. Current exchange rate is 1.2529. That tells us that hey, the U.S. price in Toronto is a lower than it is in 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 the U.S. And the Canadian dollar price in Canada is lower than it is in the U.S. So if you're able to simultaneously make these trades, uh, then you could kind of lock in a profit of four cents per share. Feel free to stop that if you need to go through the math, uh, but that's the basic idea there. Another thing that you might think about doing is, well, could we do uh, some currency arbitrage? So here's an example where we take, start with $100, uh, we convert that into Japanese yen, so over 10,000 10, shares of yen. Then we then convert that into uh, euros. We get 83 dollars, uh, 83 euros, uh, and then convert that into US dollars for 99 dollars and 90, 85 cents. We've essentially um, lost 15 cents by doing this. So there's no actual arbitrage here. I'm using actual numbers. Uh, I use the actual numbers in the previous example where there did appear to be an arbitrage. Now, what if we kind of flip this and go the other way? Then if we do that, it looks like hey, maybe there is an arbitrage here because we're able to get you know 15 cents on this trade going from dollars to euro to yen and back to dollars kind of a thing. So uh, we could do that. Another thing we might wanna look at as well, what if we actually go the other way around for real because the exchange rates, uh, there is a little bit of a bid ask spread there. If we do that, then again, kind of going from dollar to euro to, to yen and then back to dollar, uh, we lose a penny here, not as bad. Um, and if we just pretend that we were able to do it uh, the opposite way around, we do see some arbitrage here. But again, we wanna look at these, these two where there was no arbitrage opportunity, um, just gives you some sense of how you might look at a currency arbitrage. There are times when uh, this is a favorable trade. Uh, something else you might wanna think about is uh, an option arbitrage. So if you recall uh, a put call parity, and it looks like this, uh, it tells us that given you know these various underlying uh, values in terms of the stock price and, and, the, and the strike price, et cetera, that there is a parity between call uh, calls and puts. If this is not true, then there's arbitrage out there. Uh, for example, here is an example. Uh, I'm not going to walk you through the whole thing, but if you look at this, if these were the actual numbers, then there's a pretty a big arbitrage opportunity here uh, using these options. Now, if you want some more information on put call parity and other information regarding options, you know, check out these links here. I have, I have a number of videos on options, including put call parity. Uh, now, the thing you have to keep in mind, of course, is that all the things we're talking about here, we're ignoring transaction costs. Uh, so there's, there's a million things here that could come into play from costs, impact, taxes, etc. cetera. Uh, keep that in mind. So a true arbitrage uh, is one that even after all these things, you're able to lock in at instant profit. Uh, easier said than done. You could see even from that uh, Toronto Dominion Bank that, that that difference was really, really small. It's probably all going to get eaten up in terms of commissions and market movements and things of that nature. Anyway, happy trading out there. Those are real arbitrages. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much. I'm Brian Kozlowski.